Hi, welcome to the part 27 of this video series. We are going through some real certification questions. Please subscribe to my channel. There is there are two playlists. One which I have highlighted here. There is one more playlist on AZ900, which is the old one, but the questions are still relevant. Together, these two playlists guarantees your passing. Let's jump to question 136. Now let us first understand what is a security center. Security center is now called Microsoft Defender for Cloud from 4th of April. It is a tool for security posture management and threat protection. Now the first question says, can we monitor Azure resources as well as on-prem resources? Yes, you can. See, this service is designed considering that you will operate in a hybrid cloud environment. What is hybrid cloud? So if you see this documentation, the hybrid cloud is one in which applications are running in different environments. It's a combination. It is widespread because no one relies entirely on public cloud. Cloud services are designed to operate in a hybrid mode. So first answer is yes. The second one says all Azure Security Center features are free. Hmm. Now, if there are two perspectives to this, one is without enhanced features, the other is with all enhanced features. The first one is free, this one is not free. So since they are not mentioning whether it's all features or not I assume these are all features and I would select no because all features are not free let's look at the third one it says from security center you can download a regulatory compliance report so if you see this documentation there is a provision to download the regulatory compliance standard reports and compliance dashboards so we would lock this answer let's look at 137 three questions again this is based on firewalls nsgs and so on so it says firewall will encrypt all network traffic sent from azure to internet so for example you have the azure environment and this is your internet so any traffic sent from azure to internet this is encrypted by firewall is it correct see firewall in a nutshell is a filtering tool what it filters is it will not allow access to everybody so if you see here it's a cloud native intelligent network firewall security service so if you see this the threat intelligence based filtering like i told you it filters it sends an alerts and deny traffic to and fro from malicious ip addresses and domains so you saw the use is not encryption so the first answer would be no the second one says nsg will encrypt no nsg as a service or as a feature now this is also used to filter network traffic to and from azure resources now the difference is nsgs you have to create one rule every time for the resources but firewall can apply to multiple sources hence we saw encryption is not the purpose the last one says azure vms which run on 2016 can encrypt network traffic no 
VMs are not meant by default to encrypt the network traffic. See, network traffic encryption means you want encryption of data in transit. For that purpose, you got to use data link because it provides point to point across the underlying network encryption. You can also use TLS encryption. This is the final answer. So let's look at this one. Here I have marked the answer. So what you can do is you can collect data in a custom log format which works for Sentinel with log analytics. And Sentinel can analyze the security log files. So this is rightly mapped. The second one says display the secure score for an Azure subscription. So this is a function of security center, but now it is known as a Microsoft Defender for cloud. So you may not see security center being used in the exam. And when we are trying to store passwords for use by Azure functions, we make use of Azure Key Vault because it stores cryptographic keys and other secrets. So password is another secret. Now, if you see here Active Directory, this is an authentication tool. Like if the app prompts for a username and a password, you enter it, it is authenticated against AD. And if you see this service called Lighthouse, its purpose is to enable multi tenant management with scalability. It brings in automation and enhanced governance. So we will lock this answer and move forward. So the first question, it says Sentinel stores collected events in Azure storage accounts. So if you see Sentinel, it provides you with a bird's eye view across your enterprise what it means is you can collect data at scale you can detect undetected threats investigate the threats and respond to incidents with a built-in orchestration and automation of common tasks so with sentinel you can use log analytics workspace and in turn an azure storage account to store collected events maybe a cold storage or so on so this answer is yes now the second one says sentinel can remediate incidents automatically if you see this it responds to incidents rapidly with automation of common tasks so the answer should be yes in this case. The last one says Sentinel can collect Windows Defender firewall logs from Azure Virtual Machine. Yes, it, it can basically collect all the logs from the log and, and keep it in the log analytics workspace. The answer is yes. Let's look at the last question for this video. So, which service can you use as a SIM solution? So, always remember, whenever you talk about SIM, Sentinel is the solution. You see this documentation? It is calling itself SIM reinvented for the modern world. So, if you see SIM solution, always remember Sentinel. As for SIM, as for sentinel please subscribe to my channel in this channel you can see two az900 playlist both of them have questions which are still relevant 
please go through them to assure 100% guarantee pass. This brings us to the end of part 27. See you in the next part.